Howdy folks, Carrie Crail coming to you from Northwest Oregon. Today we got a special treat. Been inspired by some of my South African friends, Liesl Isaacs to be specific, to make the traditional poikikas. This is a very common meal all throughout Southern Africa, South Africa especially. Today we'll be taking a crack at it and see if uh, we can come close. The poikikas, or the poiki, is named after this special pot. Century old design, cast iron, three tall legs so it can sit up on the coals, traditionally cooking on a wood fire or charcoal. This is a number four poiki we're using today. Can feed a pretty good sized crew. Today we'll be making beef shins along with veg. We'll season these shins here with our seasoning mix. Salt, pepper, coriander, rye seasoning, curry. Make sure to rub it a bit, season it on both sides. We're going for a long, slow cook in the poiki. But for a little extra flavor, we're going to brown these. This will help the flavor come out a bit. We'll give these shins a turn. Can't hurt to brown them a bit to get that flavor coming out. They're not really cooking them, mind you. This would be a very awfully tough piece of meat to try to just grill it. Now that we've got some flavor on these shins, we'll get them into the pot. Now that we've got those shins going in there, we'll cut up our hard veg. We're going to have some yams, potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, parsnips for the hard veg. Now that we've got our hard veg in there, we're going to add some liquid today. We're going to put some beef broth. We've got some water if we need a little more broth than that. Could put some wine in there. Don't have any handy, so broth it is. and some cabbage that will go on top at the end. It's important to slow cook this, tend your fire, and you're not gonna uh, stir it. This isn't a stew. You don't constantly mess with it and stir it. You just let the fire do its job. Eat to this poiki. So what is it if it's not stew? It's a poiki. I know it's a point, but what is it? It's a meal. 
called a poiki cast. In here we have our meat and hard veggies like potatoes, carrots, and parsnips. Later we will add our soft veggies like cabbage and peppers. It's doing fine, but it's important not to stir your poiki. It's not a stew. Well, this poiki's been on all afternoon. I'm calling it done. Sure smells delicious. We'd like to dedicate this video to our dear friend, Liesl Isaacs, who's inspired us to try adventurous cooking.